coach, you're good to yeah. go. Yeah, look, I thought we uh, we had an electric, electric atmosphere. Very uh, pleased with the uh, crowd, even though it was a COVID crowd. And um, I thought the uh, fans out in the outfield was, uh, they were outstanding. So very happy with our fans. And we've got this beautiful stadium. And uh, we, I thought we played good tonight. Uh, I want our program to be elite. And uh, we had the number one program uh, team in the country on the ropes. And uh, we need somebody to step up and uh, be our closer. Right now, it's what we're missing. And I, I think our bullpen let us down. Too many freebies there at the end of the ball game. I thought our hitters were outstanding. Uh, I thought they competed their tails off against one of the best pitching staffs in the country. And, and uh, I'm just not built to go home tonight and feel good about playing good. Uh, we need to win these ball games. And they're really good. And, they play in a great league. I've coached in that league, and uh, you got to bring it tomorrow. Energy was great. Uh, we competed at a very high level, and uh, we put ourselves in position to win the game. Uh, we've got to uh, when you got a team like that on the ropes, you got to you got to nail it down, and you got to finish it. And uh, we need to find somebody that can do that on our team that can uh, finish off ball games. But uh, I'm very very happy with the way we competed, and I thought our energy was great in the dugout all night long. And uh, Friday's easy. It's what we tell our guys. There's two guys going at each other that are really good. It's usually a great crowd, and it's a good ball game. Um, you got to bring it tomorrow, too, so find a way to win the series. And, uh, you know, we, we're, we're not backing down from them, I can assure you. Uh, we'll come out. They may kick our teeth in tomorrow, but uh, we'll come out and compete. And we, we, went for the, we went for the juggler tonight. We brought in a lot of guys to try to win the ball game, and uh, we had a chance to and didn't get it done. Too many freebies at the end. All right, we'll go to questions. Go ahead, Corey. And Andrew, you can go next. Uh, Lane, using as many relievers as you did tonight, was that something coming in that, that you thought you guys might would have to rely on? Or did you thought did you think that maybe you know Finch could get a little deeper into the game? Yeah, Fincher was outstanding, by the way. I uh, don't be remiss if I didn't talk about how well he pitched tonight. Uh, he was done. He told us uh, I was hoping to get another inning out of him, obviously, because I, I thought the ball was coming out of his hand really good, even there in the sixth. And uh, but he when he told Coach Silva he was finished. He was out of gas, and uh, he he left the ball game with a obviously with us a chance to win. And he couldn't have pitched much better. I thought he was really good against a very very good lineup. It's very long, and uh, you can't come up for air against their lineup. But yeah, I don't think our plan was to use that many and. Tompkins is out. He wasn't available, and he's been our best reliever, so that kind of hurt us tonight. And uh, Tanner Knight, ball wasn't coming out good, so we made a move, and, and either with Griff either. And Casey, we went with Casey. I was hoping Casey would finish the game. He's kind of been the – he's he's our guy that can get a punch out, and uh, he did come in and get a strikeout, but, man, he just – he kind of lost it there, and I think he hit a guy and walked a couple, and then uh, Greg, same thing. I thought Cade pitched good at the end, but – I don't think that was our plan, Corey. I was hoping to get another inning out of Finch, and unfortunately, he was he was done for the night. All right, Andrew, did you have a question still? Yes, uh, Coach. What, what's the message to the team after a loss like that? And are you confident that they'll be able to bounce back and, and be good to go tomorrow? Yeah, it's a mentally draining ball game, uh, you know, and. I know I'm mentally drained. I know our players are. They left it all out there. That's all you can ask. But the message is you got to bring it tomorrow. If you want to be elite, uh, and that's what we want to be. Uh, you know, the difference is that in the power five and the group of five is they're they just on they're having pitching tryouts. I mean, every guy guys are throwing every guy they bring in is 94, 96. That's really the difference when you talk about it. But uh, you got to come ready to play tomorrow and compete just like you did tonight. That's what great teams do. And uh, it's a disappointing loss. It hurts. Uh, it's going to be hard to get over this one, but you got to put it behind you and you got to come out. You got to play at a high level or a team like Arkansas. If you don't, they will embarrass you and they'll bury you tomorrow. And uh, that's kind of, that was kind of the message. You, you have to bring the same energy as hard as it's going to be. And as disappointing as this was, um, tomorrow's got to be the same effort, same energy, same uh, level of, com of competitiveness. And you mentioned how well Fincher pitched tonight. What was what was working for him tonight? And then what did you see when Arkansas kind of got to him there in the fourth? Uh, what 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 happened on on those at bats? You know, it was kind of weird. The ball just I don't know if the radar gun was working correctly. Uh, he went from 90 to 83, 84. It was kind of crazy, and it just didn't seem like kind of like he he hit a wall. Uh, I don't know. It did it did it. I don't know if the gun had messed up, but it, his velocity definitely dropped that one inning. 
Uh, I thought they just did a good job. They had seen him, been one through uh, one time through the lineup. Some guys have seen him multiple times now. And, uh, you know, Finch just attacks the strike zone. He does it with his fastball. And he can command his fastball at a very high level. And uh, that's kind of what we went with tonight. He's a spin rate guy. It's 88, but it looks 93. Uh, it plays up because he's got so much spin on the ball. Uh, we just showed a couple of breakers to uh, keep him honest, let him know, let, let him know he had it in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I thought they did a good job with him after they saw him. And but he buckled down and he came back uh, two innings later, and he was the ball was exploding out of his hand. So uh, you know he he uh, he's he's our guy. And you know last year he was going to be our closer, and Jennings went down, so we had to push him to Friday night. So uh, I thought they did a good job against him there in that, like you said, in that fourth inning. Go ahead, Corey. Coach, uh, you know, coming in prior to last year, I, I know, um, you know, Ben Brantley was a guy that you guys were very high on as a recruit. And, and once you signed him uh, and getting him into the program and getting him acclimated to, to, to the program and how you guys do things, uh, it seemed like tonight to me was probably one of the first times I, I watched him at bat. And it seemed like he, every time he stepped in the box, he had confidence. Just talk yeah. about progression uh, I, know, I know last year was a shortened season and whatnot but just talk about the progression that you've seen from Brantley yeah that's a good point Corey I agree with you 100 percent uh you got to remember these COVID guy freshmen they're really still freshmen they only played 17 games last year uh but uh, you know what we benched him we benched him for four or five games he wasn't uh I thought defensively he was struggling he wasn't pulling the trigger he, like he had the safety on he looks like Freddie Freeman and and so he's up there taking fastballs. And so we, we sat him down. And honestly, I think he took it personally. And uh, I think when he got back in the lineup, he has been, I agree with you. I think he's been a different person. He, he's, he's walking up to the plate with confidence. And uh, he had a huge hit for us tonight. Against some great at bats. He's battling some, some great pitchers. And they were making some very tough pitches to him. He's fouling them off. And he's taking borderline pitches. And uh, I think uh, the fact that we sat him down I always say the greatest motivator in the world is El Bencho. So you put guys on the bench sometimes and it'll motivate them. And I think that's what you're seeing out of Ben. He's a, he's kind of a different person right now. Anything else for coach? I, I do. I have a couple more coach. Right, this is, it, in 11 games, Arkansas has come back in the eighth inning or later five times. Uh, what, what makes Arkansas so hard to, to finish off? Well, I, I just think they got nine real hitters. It's a hard lineup to navigate. You know, we were even talking there, walking uh, Opitz there in the, uh, I can't remember the inning. They, uh, when he hit into the double play, I guess that was the ninth, I think, when he hit into the line drive double play, we were – I, I even wanted to put him on, but you're going, man, the next guy is a good hitter too. So it's, I think it's just the fact that they're so athletic and they are so physical. They can drive the ball out of the ballpark like they did there in the 10th and, and they can run. Uh, they're, they're very athletic and it's just a long lineup. It's not, there's not a weak link really in their lineup. And I think that makes it tough on any bullpen, especially when you don't have a real closer right, right now we're searching for that. And I just think it makes it tough to uh, put them away. And then the last thing I got, Coach, is I was wondering what your impressions were of Paulette, the Arkansas starter tonight. Good. Look, I saw him on video. He's been at, he's been outstanding. Ball, uh, you know, he's not a big guy, and he gets the most out of his body. His arm's really quick, and it turns at a high level. And, I mean, the guy's sitting there throwing 94, 95, and, he, you know, he weighs 190 pounds. He's getting the most he can. So uh, I thought we did a good job with him. I thought uh, his command was a little obviously walked the first guy on four pitches, and I think – I think uh, once he got settled in, he was really good. His breaking ball is outstanding. So um, I, I thought our guys did a really good job against him. But look, he's by far the best arm we faced all year. It's not even close. And and uh, he's a real Friday night guy, man. I really liked him. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Oh, go ahead, Corey. <laughs> Yeah, I just got one more lane. Uh, I mean, obviously, I have to ask about the bottom of the 10th. I mean, uh, obviously, you know, T.Y. at the plate, Wells at the plate, you know, and, and Parker comes up there with two outs and representing the tying run at the plate. I, I, I know from just as many at-bats as those guys have had in their career, I know you guys felt really confident about the guys that you were going to have to try to tie this game up. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I did. I, we had the right guys coming up. Even McConnell pinch hitting. He's one of our better hitters. And 
You know, the guy on the mound's throwing 98 miles an hour, so it's tough, you know, and he was kind of struggling with his command. So I was get a runner on and somebody may, uh, he'll, he'll supply the power. We had really good hitters, like you said, Wells and Bates coming up that can run the ball out of the yard. And I thought if they could get barrel on it, uh, it's hard when a guy's throwing that hard, you know, they, these kids don't see that. It's not many college players see that kind of velocity uh, very often. So, you know, I, I did feel good about it. If we could get a runner on. I felt like we had the right guys that could barrel the ball and, and get it out of the ballpark. So, uh, again, you know, credit their guy who really good arm there at the end and found a way to get it done. Perfect. Unless anyone has anything else, I think that's it for you, Coach. Thank you for hopping on. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Thanks, Lane. Appreciate you. All right.